This is Laura O'Brien. I'm an author and co-founder of the Irish Pagan School. And I'm here to tell you about the problems, because there are two problems at least, with the maiden, mother and crone concept in neo-paganism or contemporary paganism. And particularly with reference to the Irish or Celtic pagan tradition of which I am a practitioner. So maiden, mother and crone does not exist in the Irish tradition at all. Uh, and there's a lot of confusion with goddesses such as Bridge or Bridget or the Morrigan, who often get referred to as triple goddesses or, you know, lumped in with the whole maiden, mother and crone concept because they are triple goddesses, where that's not really how it is within the actual lore and the traditions that we have here in Ireland. The the triple goddess thing is complicated. <laughs> um, there are definitely three sisters when it comes to breach and perhaps three forms. But it's not one goddess as three, right? And the same goes for the Morrigan. And there are actually more than three. But sometimes then the Morrigan is referred to in the lore as the like the three daughters of Ernmus and would appear maybe in, in groupings of three in certain parts of the texts. But those are always different threes. And there are a couple of sets of three daughters of Ernmus as well. So without getting too much into the lore, um, on that side because that's not what this video is about. We do have whole classes on this at the Irish Pagan School if you want to go and look those up. But maiden, mother and crone in itself. So that's that's one problem, right, with the maiden, mother and crone concept is it just doesn't show up in Irish lore or tradition. And it's kind of being mashed on top of um, people's misunderstandings of Celtic pagan goddesses or Irish paganism where it just does not fit with the actual traditions that we have which are beautiful and valid and should be respected for what they are and what they are not right so besides that then another problem with maiden mother and crone is that it is based very much on a patriarchal view of women's roles and functions and the idea of a woman not being able to have her own hero's journey and, you know, being the land instead that the hero has to journey to, you know, and this is tied up with the whole sovereignty thing and all the rest of it, which, again, is valid in its own way, but has been very much misconstrued by a more modern patriarchal culture about with regards to the the female goddess or female deities not having their own autonomy their own um their own unique roles and functions and you know parts to play within the stories again which is very much in evidence in traditional irish lore so the maiden mother and crone reduces the concept of maiden mother and crone reduces women to their childbearing status and don't come at me in the comments with your justifications for well i use it for my creative projects and i use it for this and i use it for that right whatever way you want to sleep at night is fine you you do you but the reality of it is that maiden mother and crone is based on the reduction of women to their usefulness when it comes to childbearing and those roles and functions are based around whether you are pre-childbearing age as in maiden whether you are in your childbearing era as a mother and whether you are post childbearing as a crone and both for gender essentialism and for you know 
equality and women's rights and our um, our ability and our uh, our rights to stand up as fully functioning members of society that is not based around our reproductive usefulness. This is very important that we as, you know, contemporary pagans move beyond these outdated concepts. And again, like we have this, this much older tradition that doesn't do Maiden, Mother and Crone. And then the misunderstanding of the whole sovereignty thing from that time period, moving into, you know, the antiquarian stuff. I think it was probably Robert Graves who started Maiden, Mother and Crone and or popularized it at least right let's let's be fair certainly um popularized it and you know it's also respond responsible for other you know heinous um outdated misunderstood misconstrued concepts such as the celtic tree calendar that is mixed in with ohm there is a class a free class on the um over at the Irish Pagan School. There's a link below to all of our free classes if you want to go and check out any of those. Um, and obviously there's a lot of paid classes as well on all of these topics. But if you want to know more about Robert Graves and his OM atrocities, uh, feel free to take that free initial class. But Robert Graves is also, I believe, responsible for the Maiden Mother and Crone concepts being popularized and making their way into modern paganism and surely we are beyond that in 2022 as I record this video. I know that we still have a long way to go but it really is up to all of us men, women, gender non-conforming, amazing people, uh, any non-binary folk out there who, you know, don't fall under those general titles or headings. It is up to all of us to really re-examine how we are interacting with our spirituality and how we are modeling our spirituality to catch up with where we want things to be now and what we feel is right relationship with our deities now. And to my mind, in my practice, in my experience, in my vast experience with the Morrigan, as I said, as one of the goddesses who frequently gets lumped into this maiden mother and crone bullshit, it is just completely and utterly irrelevant. So go back to the original lore, go back to your own um, projections and your own misconceptions and your own ingrained toxic patriarchy and those kind of social structures that we've all been steeped in our entire lives re-examine all of that and I would encourage you to stop using Maid Mother and Crone certainly when it comes to Irish paganism that's that's where my lane is so I'm going to stay in there um, uh, but you know probably in other traditions in contemporary paganism as well. It would be worth a re-evaluation on all of this. Now, obviously at the end of the day, you can do whatever the fuck you want with your own spirituality. But where I would draw the line is taking Irish culture, Irish traditions, Irish lore, and putting the maiden mother and crone insertion into that where it just doesn't belong there okay so that's my that's my boundary people accuse us of gatekeeping here at the Irish Pagan School a lot for videos such as this when in reality we are presenting very clear boundaries about what is and isn't relevant to our own culture and our own traditions and um, people don't like that so if that is you, if you're having issues with this, I would say to sit down and have a little think for yourself and, you know, really do some self-reflection and some self-examination about why it's so important to you because you're, you know, your, your high priestess 
told you that Maiden Mother and Crone was a thing in her Celtic pagan coven 20 years ago. Maybe it's time to let that go. And when we know better, we do better, right? So, it's long before I will see you in the next video.